I'm no expert on trolls, but I have read quite a few stories about them, especially where it came from people who needed the troll fat and had to go and kill a bunch of them. Yes, they regenerate, and fire negates that. I don't have any powerful fire spells on me currently. Oh well, I've also learned the hard way that if you hit them hard enough and often enough, their regeneration doesn't stop you from killing them. It's not like they continue to regenerate and come back even after death. Now that would be a bit of a nightmare. So going through that last cave that had several of them was a strange experience. When it comes to their intelligence, they're supposed to be even less intelligent than goblins. So why were there mountain lions, rats, bears, and wolves in their cave? It makes me wonder if there isn't more to these creatures than is generally known. Are they capable of any kind of reasoning and rational thought? I would have thought if they saw any other animal not of their own kind, they would kill and eat it right away. So are they intelligent? From what I have learned about them, the answer is an absolute no. They aren't even clever enough to create pens and keep their food in them until needed. So, it would seem to me that they somehow made friends with all these animals that I encountered in their cave. Maybe they help each other. I don't know. It's, it all seems a bit outlandish to me. Trolls are very aggressive, very tough creatures that attack us on sight. So no, I just cannot explain properly what I just experienced. Mundus is a strange place, even to us who live there. There seems to be no end to the discoveries that we can make. And maybe that is a good thing. Because if we knew everything there was to know, wouldn't it be a very stagnant, boring place? For instance, we don't even know the size and scope of Nern. Tamriel is but one of several known continents. This is just a hypothetical map, as we certainly don't know what the other continents look like, or even if they all exist. There is Atmora, where the Nords came from far to the north, which is apparently completely frozen with ice and currently uninhabitable. Then there is Yakuta to the west, which was an island chain where the Red Guard came from. These islands sank in the first era, and Yakuta no longer exists. Then there is Akavir to the far east. We only have a few stories about the place, and none of it detailed enough to really get to know it. What is known is that it is estimated to be about the same size as Tamriel, so it is big. To the south is Payandania, where the Maomer, or Sea Elves, hail from. Even less is known of that place in Akavir. The Elmer could never challenge them at sea, since the Maomer were masters of naval warfare. However, at a certain point, a combined force of Imperial, Altmer, and Sajic Order banded together to form an enormous fleet which challenged the raiding fleet of the Maomer. The Maomer were so completely destroyed that their raiding has stopped ever since. Then there is the last place, which is Aldemaris. This is where the Elves were believed, at least by them, to have originated. This continent is just in our legends, and to be honest, no one has seen it since the early dawn era, which is approximately 8,000 years ago. The question is, did it ever exist, or did the High Elves just dream it up? There has been many voyages in search of it in all those thousands of years, but none have ever found it. So yes, we barely even understand the workings of our own continent of Tamriel, let alone the entire world of Nern. All this mystery. I personally find it fascinating. I am working with Mazoga, the orc. Hey, come on. To find Fisherman's Rock, which is supposedly six hours north of the city of Leowin. Now, I mean, obviously there's a a gate right there, so we'll try to get past it. I'm only doing this for one reason, to gain the Count's favor. He asked me to go and see... Oh, I haven't seen this one actually ever. But I've read about it. It's Domeka Redward. I wonder what I can make with that. I've forgotten. There's so many things that grow in the world of Tamriel that I could possibly remember everything. You have my ear, citizen. So, uh, once I'm past the gate, which I believe I am, Oblivion Gate? No, nope, it's right there. Killing horses. Maybe they killed the Legion's horse. Oh, it's a Daedroth. Well, I'll kill that.
You're welcome, Legion soldier. So, I should be able to go along the water now. She's with me right now. Another gate. They're everywhere. This is Zivoli. I don't remember that there. We came across this bridge before. Close one down, another one opens. They are determined to take Tamriel. I'm smelling something really nasty. Maybe it's just the orc I'm with. Lazoga, where are you? She was following me. You don't. I guess we have to kill the Zivili. Claymore. Well, I can take it, I suppose. Heavy. Alright, so she's with us, right? Yes, to the north. There's a little town on the other side. A little village on this side of the bay. Wherever this place is, it's gotta be nearby. Fisherman's Rock. And there's a fire up ahead. Nernroot. Who's that? There's another gate over there. There it is. Is that a Legion soldier? Just staring at us. It's it's you. Oh, it's one of those the Ranger of Legion. This is truly an honor. Are these bandits? Is this Fisherman's Rock? Ready with my summoning spell. I believe this is Fisherman's Rock. So who these people are, I don't know. Typical Nord, going without clothes. Where's the orc? Hey, we found it. Take me to Fisherman's Rock. Now! We're there, you stupid, ugly, smelly thing. What are we waiting for? Come on! Take me to fish. <sighs> Follow me. Get moving. I'm right behind you. Yeah, I won't forget about that. What are we waiting for? Hey. Hello? Aisha minds Aisha's business. Maybe you should try this too. I have the distinct feeling these are bandits. Hello? I'm Mogan's windshifter. I'm having a look around. You mind? So is this the rock it was named after? Oh, Nernert. Hoping to find more. Oh, we've been collecting a lot of them lately. And oh, there's a fort right there. I do not actually feel like going in there. But, I guess if I have to, I have to. And you finally decided to come in here, huh? She may stir up trouble. I don't really care if they're bandits. Remember me? Huh? No, who are you? I'm Mizoga. You killed my friend, Ravindra. Yep, we're here for revenge. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a lying bastard. 
You killed Ravindra, and now I'm going to kill you. Mazorka spoke to Mogan's wind shifter, and then they start to fight. Mogan's has his gang with him, so Mazorka needs some help. Yep. Oh. Ah. You think you can beat me? Okay. Potion time. That's why I make these damn things. Chameleon. Damage health. Actually, I have a damage health and... Paralyze. Which is especially nasty. Shield. Uh, hmm. I thought there's something else I could use. Oh, well. Restore health. Okay. Now try hitting me. I kill you. Ah, got her. She's dead. Ah. Not even hurting me. At Fisherman's Rock, Mazoga got into a fight with four bandits. Now all four bandits are dead. Now I must report to Marius Caro, the Count of Leowin. I kept my oath. Mogan's Windshifter is dead. You could have told Mogan's me. Mogan's Windshifter had a gang. They robbed and killed travelers. But Ravindra saw and told the guards. Mogan's got away. But first he killed Ravindra. My best friend. Ravindra. That day, I became a knight and swore a knight's oath. I searched a long time and asked everyone. Then I finally heard he was hiding at Fisherman's Rock. So now you know everything. You helped me, and I won't forget. Take what you want from the dead. I came to keep my oath, and now I'm done. Hmm. Quite the story you have there, Mazoga. When I saw my friend killed, I swore I'd be a true knight and right all wrongs. So now I gotta do some good deeds. I don't know much about being a knight, but I'm gonna learn. Say, you did me a good deed. You ought to be a real knight yourself. Well, I, I suppose so. Anyways, take care. You're a pal. So elven armor and glass armor. The glass helmet, she has that. Um, Vilya does. Glass claymore. It's quite heavy. But I'll take the cuirass. It's not that heavy. I'll sell these things. No, Ravindra sent her. Um, let me take the shield. That sounds like a. Uh, what do you call it? Kajit name. Elven arrows. Glass bow. Starting to get a little heavy. Mogan's Windshifter. Dagger of Disintegration. I could take that. I'll sell it for a good price. Well, I suppose if they're preying on people traveling the roads, then it's a good thing that we dealt with them. And this time, with the Oblivion Crisis, this is not the time for bandits to be preying on people. All right, well, we came what we need to do, what we need to do. I'm curious to know about that village across the way. A lot of little villages dot the countryside. All right, I'll keep an eye out or ear out for um, Nern Root on the way back, and let's return to the Count of Leowin. The place is really close. There's the city walls right there. There's a couple of gates between here and there, though. Oblivion gates. Return to the castle of Leowin. Smell the orc. Huh. Oh, that's just great. The Countess and the Count are both present. Well, she... Both of them will never forget what I did. I hope they'll at least talk to me and not throw me in prison for approaching them again. Hello again, my lord, my lady. Have you anything new what to report? Is it? Uh, she's not happy with me. Successful. Uh, yes. I've... 
ta I'm here about the service to Leowin that you asked me to perform a little while ago. Have you learned why the orc is here? To avenge a murdered friend. Such vengeance is a noble deed. Leowin thanks you for your service, and I have a fitting reward for such noble deeds. Hmm. I address my offer to you and your friend. Would you like to become Knights Errant? Knights Errant? What does that entail? I have created a chivalric order of the White Stallion. Find and kill the leader of the Black Bow Bandits, the orc named Black Brugo. If you succeed, I will bestow on both you and Mazoga the titles of Knights Errant of the White Stallion for your service to Leowin. Hmm. The kill an orc bandit leader, huh? I'll definitely do that. Okay, uh, I'm here to request aid for Bruma. Leowin is beset by enemies. The Empire does nothing to help us. Even before this crisis, I did not have enough men to patrol my borders. Now, Daedra are pouring out of an Oblivion Gate on our very doorstep. No, I don't have any men to spare. Bruma will have to look to its own defense. Well, that's very helpful. Remember, a knight's title shall be your reward. Hello again, Countess. What do you want? Sorry to bother you. Take care. Well, at least she's on speaking terms with me. Alright, well, this issue with the orc... The orcs. We'll have to wait. I suppose I have a I'll, uh... What is it? She does smell. Mazoga. I'll have to return again and see you. Um, I'm gonna be gone for a while. Maybe a week or so, or two. But I'll be back. I should go sell all this excess gear. Um, well, now that I'm done, down here in Leowin for the time being, I want to go to Skingrad. There's a lot of work to be done in the area. I also have to see the Countess Skingrad, about the reward you promised me. That was like a month ago. But uh, I'd like to return to the <coughs> Imperial Palace. Sorry, to the Imperial City. Maybe even speak to the Imperial Palace, now that I think of it. And uh, see if they can provide aid to Bruma. And perhaps I'll go to the arena in the meantime. Alright. I've got my orders. So, back here at the arena. I'd like to get in two more matches, if I could, before the day is over. And uh, I think it's time to address that Thorner issue anyway? that all those merchants were asking me. Uh, let's just wait right here, please. If you say so. All the merchants were asking me to spy on that Thorner, see what he's up to. I know it's kind of trivial, but it's one of the first things that uh, I was asked when I came out of prison. So I figured now that I've actually, I just trained for quite a few hours with Sneak. And I do believe I've gotten a lot better. So, with my cloth armor, with my regular clothing, and my sneak skills, I should be quite adept. I can also open average locks, but man. not, uh, Tell me. not Tell locks me. that are really difficult. So, heavy raiment, raiment, I guess I will put Peter Creaves, many gauntlets. So it's just shield and helm, right? Helm. Yeah, looks about right. Goodbye. Hello, again, One Owen. more match is all you need to advance again, up to gladiator rank. Most combatants never make it that far, but you're the exception, aren't you? Hmm. Ready for a match. Your next opponent is the most savage, blood-crazed orc I've ever seen. And believe me, I've seen a lot of them. This will An not orc, be fun. Huh? No, it will she'll be fun. She'll come out of that gate with a war hammer the size of a child, and she'll swing it until your head explodes. Don't let that happen. Hmm. I get another chance to kill an orc? Why not? It's very dark here without my, uh, light spell on me. Alright, so, potions. Well, 
I really like that uh, potion that I have that paralyzes and damages my foes. The people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. This is an important match, for the winner will advance to the esteemed rank of Gladiator. So, without further ado, let the battle begin! I guess I'm this evening's entertainment. Or we are. It's not so big. Come here. Ha, you like that, huh? <laughs> that was my poison. That was easy, actually. Yeah. I like the adoration of the crowd. It feels good. Oh, okay, one more match. Now that I'm a gladiator, let's see what the gladiator rank can present to me. Perhaps it will be much tougher than what I faced just now. Hopefully, it will be actually. I'm a busy man. What is it? Okay, well. you hit that orc so hard, her mother in Orsinium started bleeding. I hope so. That victory advances you to the rank of gladiator. Enjoy the gold. Okay, another match, if you please. Gladiator. It's not very often I get to call somebody that. You're doing the blue team proud, kid. Now go kill somebody before I get all weepy. Ready for a match. Listen up. This next match is an outrage, but there's nothing I can do about it. You've got three opponents this time, and you have to beat them all. They're Argonian prisoners brought here from Black Marsh. They've been told they have to kill you in exchange for their freedom. I don't know what crimes they committed. But it's your life or their freedom. The choice should be pretty clear. Get going and watch yourself. I have to fight three? <laughs> Why can't I just bring Vilya along with me? You know what? Let's see what they say. Because that doesn't seem fair now, does it? Vilya? Well, she's not even in a room. I'll oh, forget it. I'm sure I can defeat three. Between my magic and my... Uh, Daedroth. I'm sure I can do this. Oh, and don't forget my potions. Yeah, I have to start using more of them. Um, last of these, paralyzed plus damage health. Good people of Three of them, huh? How fair is that? Welcome to the arena. It looks like the yellow team has pulled a fast one by replacing their combatant with three Arconian prisoners. This should be interesting. Interesting. I'm sure it will be. Okay, time to use as much as I can in terms of potions. Uh, well, you know what? This... Where is it? 65 seconds of Restore Magicka. That will be very helpful. Oh. oh, Argonians are hard to paralyze. Some of them are right out immune to it. Uh, ah. That actually really hurt. Die! One's down. Ouch. Oh, it's not down. I need another potion. Ah. She moves right when I cast a spell. Ah, stop moving. Oh, he's dead in. That was at least a bit of a challenge. 
But, yeah, I don't really want to face three anymore at a time. That's... That doesn't seem fair. Maybe two. They weren't particularly tough each, but three of them are together. It's quite a lot. To be honest, I'm having the time of my life. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? Couldn't we please talk about something less depressing? <laughs> What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Anytime. Oh, okay. How do you do? Owen. The yellow team surprised even me with that match. Three against one. I guess they didn't know who they were dealing with, huh? Well done. Well, two matches. And I defeated all my enemies. I think it's uh, probably time to rest. Uh, maybe in the morning. Wait, actually. The best time to go after Thornair is in the evening when he closes shop. Yeah. Well, let's change and then let's go after this Thornair. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.